Photoshop CS6 added a brand new tool called the Mixer Brush Tool. If I select the Mixer Brush Tool, I've brought up a few examples here for you. If I zoom in with Command Plus or Control Plus, this is the original corn photograph. If I scroll down, you could see every little piece has been painted, every little kernel on that ear of corn. If I take a look at another example, this is one I did so it won't be quite as good, but you could see an original photograph and then the painting that was done to turn that photograph into a hand-painted work of art. I'm going to close these two and I'm going to start with a new document, File New. Now one note you may notice here, Advanced might not be up for you, but I've selected a preset for film and video. This brings up an important point. If you choose, instead of the default Photoshop size, the film and video preset, you have many standards to choose from. Videos actually never use square pixels, which is the Photoshop default. In case you're curious, PAL, which stands for Phase Alternating Line, is the standard for Europe and parts of Asia, but NTSC is the standard for North America and most of South America, and a few Asian countries like Taiwan. When you're building a new piece of art that you might use in video, you can choose from different standards. Digital video. D1 is another standard which commonly has a resolution of 704 pixels by 480 pixels. You could select HD high definition, which we often call 720p, and commonly has a resolution of 1280 by 720 pixels. Or HD, which we often call 1080p, which has two common resolutions, 1440 by 1080 or 1920 by 1080. It really depends on your camera model, the incoming source, which one you'll choose here. I'm going to imagine we're doing the 1080p. So I've chosen HDV and it sets it to the 1440 by 1080, which is not using square pixels. You'll notice the ratio. You get this number of 1.33 by dividing the height by the width, and it gives you the aspect ratio. So I will click OK, and it warns me this is just for preview purposes. That's OK too. And we automatically get these guides. Commonly when doing video, you want a title safe area, this inner guide, of about 90% of your video size. And all other content on some televisions, if it goes past 95%, it may be clipped off. So it's important to get the content that you want the viewers to see inside these inner guides. Now, I'm on the mixer brush, which was located underneath the brush tool, and I will select a fill color of light blue. Or I can right click to choose different styles of brushes. And a power user trick. If I hold down three keys on the Mac, Command, Option, and Control, and click and hold, I get an on-screen color picker, or what's known as a HUD, a heads-up display. On the PC, that is Control, Alt, and right-click. But on the Mac, I'm holding down Command, Option, and Control. So that's another way to select blue. With the mixer brush, I'm going to go to realistic brushes also added in Photoshop CS5. So if I look up in the brushes panel and work my way across, you can see I've got a round point stiff, blunt medium, round curve, round angle. I like the fan. So I'm choosing the round fan. I'm actually going to switch over to my graphics tablet. I have a Wacom, W-A-C-O-M, bamboo tablet so I can draw with my mouse. And it's a lot more natural than drawing with a physical mouse. It's a stylus. And as I hover the stylus over this graphics tablet, you could see my cursor move. So if I'm going to make a stroke, I will click and drag in order to paint. Now, as I look at this, you may notice that there are brush styles. I'm on custom, but I can choose from preset styles, like a dry brush, and click and drag to paint. 
There I actually saw a stroke. When I was on a wet brush earlier, there was nothing on my canvas, so it was just blending white to white. I'm going to hit Command Option Control or Control Alt right click on Windows and choose from a yellow. So I'm going down into the yellow section. Once I'm there, I could slide over and choose my exact shade of yellow. And I'll make another stroke that crosses over this one. Now here's the power of the mixer brush. I can click where it says dry and choose moist with a light mix. And now as I paint the white stage or image is being painted into the blue and mixing with the yellow. If I start on the blue and drag, it's pushing the blue into the yellow. And if I start the yellow, and drag over the blue, it's pushing yellow into blue. These strokes are astounding. They're more like working with traditional media. And if I go to my window menu and choose brush, I can bring up the brushes panel and there are all kinds of properties you could set for these brushes. One of the ones I like to set is the number of bristles and I'll dial it down and the thickness of the bristles. And here, I'll make a new paint stroke. That yellow is fairly light, so I think I'll just use my color picker on the right to change to a red. And here you could see how it painted. You have length of brush strokes. And if I look at the brush presets up on my options bar with one click, pausing for two seconds over any one of the brushes will tell you its name and its style, and then choosing one will switch all of these settings. In fact, there are new ones in Photoshop CS6. They have charcoal brushes. And these charcoal brushes actually have the ability to do erodible tips. So you can see I've got pastel brushes, a crayon, watercolor, charcoal, pencil. So try one of these and click and drag to paint. They have some really interesting brush styles. One last tip on these brushes. If I do open an image like this shot, I can double click to collapse mini bridge and zoom in and I can hold down Option or Alt to select the child's face and that loads that as my media to paint with. So it's actually painting the image over the image. So if I zoom in a little bit further and use my left bracket on my keyboard to make my brush smaller, I'm directly painting with the image data right on the photograph. And I could experiment with different brush styles to get different effects on this photograph to create my own work of art. So if you've never checked it out before, explore the new mixer brush tool, explore the natural bristle brushes added in Photoshop CS5, and the new brushes like the charcoal, watercolor, crayon, and so on that are built into Photoshop CS6.